Good day everyone! Today, we are going to answer the 20 review questions we posted last Tuesday, August 3, 2021. The questions are from the fields of aquaculture, aquatic resources and ecology, capture fisheries, and post-harvest fisheries. But before we proceed, if you are new to our channel, we help fisheries graduates increase the chances of passing the licensure examination for fisheries professionals by providing answers to review questions and explain each item. If you find our channel useful, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be updated of our contents. For our loyal subscribers, thank you for staying with us and hope you find our contents useful. Are you ready? Let's proceed. Question number one. Which type stage of milkfish is commonly called as fingerlings? A. Larva B. Jovinite C. Post larva and D. Adult And the correct answer is A fingerling is a stage in the life cycle of the fish measuring about 6 to 13 cm depending on the species. The correct answer is B. Juvenile. Larva is a part of fish life cycle after egg has hatched and have used all the yolk sac. It is also known as fry. Post larva is an immature fish after complete absorption of the yolk sac but before it has attained the appearance of a miniature adult. Whereas, adult, a part of the life cycle of fish, which are able to reproduce or become sexually mature. The time it takes to reach maturity varies among species individual fish. Fish with shorter lifespan reach maturity faster than fish with longer lifespan. Question number 2. Which type of carajinan can be extracted from Capophycus albarisai? A. Kappa B. Ayota C. Lambda and D. Theta Karajinan is an additive used to thicken, emulsify, and preserve foods and drinks. It is a natural ingredient that comes from the reed seaweed. The answer is A. Kappa there are three types of karajinan, the kapak the ayota, and the lambda. Kapak karajinan is extracted from Capophycus albarisai. It forms a firm gel and used as a gelling, thickening, and stabilizing agent. On the other hand, ayota karajinan is extracted from Mucoma duticulato. It produces an elastic gel and used mainly as a thickening or gelling agent. Gels produced are soft and flexible and most especially when used with calcium salts. Lambda Karajinan is an extract from Gigartina and Condrus. They are cold soluble, typically non-gelling Karajinan that improves the mouthfeel in daily beverages. They are non-gelling and used as thickener only. Question number 3. This local wind system characterized by a flow from land to water late at night. What is this? A. Sea breeze B. Land breeze C. Cold front and D. Hot front And the correct answer is B. Land breeze Land breeze is a local nighttime and early morning wind that occurs along coast and blows offshore, whereas it is from the land out to sea. It arises at sunset when the sea surface is warmer than the adjacent land due to the land having a lower heat capacity in cooling off faster. It then continues into early morning hours until the heating of the day begins. Land breezes are the opposite of sea breezes, which are gentle winds that develop over the ocean and blow onshore, keeping you cool during the scorching hot day at the beach. Although commonly associated with ocean shorelines, land breezes can also be experienced near lakes and other large bodies of water. Number 4. In 2018, what is the value of worldwide fisheries export? A. 114 billion US dollars. B. 
124 billion US dollars. C. 144 billion US dollars. And D. 164 billion US dollars. And the correct answer is D. 164 billion US dollars. According to the State of World Fisheries and Aquaculture in 2020, worldwide fishery export valued to 164.1 billion US dollars. It is more than times four the value of export from 1986 to 1995, 5% higher than the value of fishery exports in 2017. Question number five from the field of aquaculture. Which of the following is not a general characteristic of a grouper? A. Slow growth B. Large size C. Short lifespan and D. Late reproduction And the correct answer is C. Short lifespan Groupers are known to have slow growth, they grow very slowly and usually they can attain sexual maturity after five years. Most of the species are large size. Some of the species can grow up to three meters, such as the giant grouper, and can weigh more than 400 kilograms. Groupers have long lifespan, meaning they live long, and some of the species that live up to 37 years. They have late reproduction, meaning they attain sexual maturity after 5 to 7 years. Question number 6. From the field of aquatic resources and ecology, a stock predator and carnivore, groupers feed on the following except A. Seaweeds B. Small crabs C. Mollusks and D. Small gobs Carnivores are animals or plants that eat the flesh of other animals. They fed the following except seaweeds. Groupers fed on small crabs and other vertebrates, mollusks, and small fish such as goobies. Question number 7 from the field of capture fisheries. Which of the following is not a basic material used for pile? A. Coconut leaves B. Oil drums C. Fish hook and D. Anchors And the correct answer is C. Fish hook There are three main compo basic components of a FADS or the fish aggregating device or locally known as PIO They are the float the fish attractor and the anchor system. In the float, usually the drums, particularly the empty drums and bamboo, are used part of floater system. For the fish attractor, coconut leaves or fans are used together with bowy to attract other species, particularly the smaller one. For the anchor system, usually used fuel drum or used car tire are being placed with cement that serve as the anchor system. Question number 8 From the field of post-harvest fisheries, which of the following has the most expensive average retail price in the Philippines in 2019? A. Trade fin breed B. Endeavor prawn C. Blue crab or D. Tiger prawn And the correct answer is D. Tiger Pro. According to Philippine Fisheries Profile of 2018, so here are the retail prices of selected fish species in the Philippines from 2018 to 2019. Among the species listed, Tiger Prawn or Shrimp, locally in Asupo, is the most expensive with an average retail price of 611 pesos per kilo. It was followed by Endeavor Prawn or Swahe with an average retail price of 391 pesos, followed by Blue Crab or Alimasag with 305 pesos per kilo, 
trade film brim or bisugo followed with 261 pesos per kilo and sisyo or dalagang bukid including lapad price at about 248 pesos per kilogram. Question number 9. From the field of aquaculture, one of the important water quality criteria in site selection are acidity and alkalinity. The values above or below inhi inhibit growth and reproduction. Thus, productivity. What is the most suitable pH range of water for aquaculture farms? A. 6.8 to 7.0 B. 6.0 to 7.0 C. 6.7 to 8.6 and D. 6.2 to 6.8 And the correct answer is C, 6.7 to 8.6. Usually, the pH of 7 of water it is considered as neutral. If the pH is less than 7, it is considered as acidic. And if the pH is more than 7, it is considered as basic or alkaline. Basically, below or above those reach pH range may result to slow growth or sometimes it may lead to stress and may lead to mortality of the cultured species. Question number 10. From the field of aquatic resources and ecology, which algae have floaters or bladders used for buoyancy? A. Sargasso B. Kaolerpa C. Gracilaria and D. Padaina And the correct answer is A. Sargassum. Sargassum is a type of macroalgae or technically known as seaweeds. Usually, they are they can be seen attached to the bottom or floating in the open ocean. So they have this bladder or floats they use for buoyancy. Those structures that are encircled red are examples of these floats or bladders that are one of the characteristics of the genus Sargasso. Question number 11 from the field of capture fisheries. The basic sensory unit of lateral system of fish and amphibians is called blank. A. Electrocytes B. Cones and rods C. Olfactory nerves and D. Neuromast And the correct answer is D. Neuromas. Neuromas is part of the mechanical reception of which it is composed of many neuromas. These are receptors in clusters of cells typically covered by a gelatinous copula. And this copula can be displaced by water movement, moving the cilia of the hair cells and initiating a change in signals to the brain. Water movements bend the protrudic copula which stimulates the hair cells by bending the attached cilia or sense hairs. It detects disturbances and vibrations in the water, helping a fish to detect the movement and direction of water current, detection of prey, maintain its position and the school, and avoid obstacles and predators nearby. Question number 12 from the field of post-harvest fishings. Which of the following components of fish muscle is easily destroyed by hot water? A. Myomere B. Myocomata C. Red muscle and D. White muscle And the correct answer is B. Myocomata this is an example of the appearance of myotomes and myocomata. Myocomata uh, connects two or more myotomes. The myomere or myotome is the edible meat of a tilius which is about 60% of its body weight depending on the anatomy of fishes, size, and condition. Myocomata is made out of connective tissues which contain mostly the protein collagen. They easily breaks up in hot water about 45 degrees centigrade 
compared to beef collagen which breaks in 64 degrees centigrade. The reason why fish muscle softens faster than red meat during cooking. Red muscle constitutes the 10% of the fish muscle depending on the species. They are infused with capillaries in a pierced red because of the high concentration of red oxygen binding pigments in the blood called hemoglobin and the muscle tissue itself or the myoglobin. Higher levels of lipids, hemoglobin, glycogen, and most vitamins are found in the red muscle. A large proportion of red muscle is found in the continuously active swimming or migrating fish such as tuna and marbles. White muscle constitute about 90% of fish muscle and they are appear white because of absence of pigment. They are thicker than the red muscle, poorer blood supply, lacks red oxygen carrying pigment such as myobili. They are used for short bursts of swimming and dominates the muscle mass of moderately active to sluggish swimmers. Question number 13 from the field of aquaculture. Which of the following is not suitable for color aquaculture? A. Site near estuaries with more than 30 parts per thousand salinity. B. Loamy muddy substrate. C. Frequent water exchange. And D. More than 30 parts per thousand salinity. And the correct answer is actually, we have two correct answers here because of the typographical error A is a correct answer together with D so usually Caudarpa stenohaline species they can survive if the salinity water is low compared to that, that of the marine environment according to FAO these are some of the criteria in the site selection for Caudarpa culture the site selected must be far from freshwater sources because Kalerpa will die when the salinity is less than 30 parts per thousand. Second criteria, the elevation of the pond bottom must be at or just a little above the zero tidal level to enhance proper water management in the ponds. Frequent water change is necessary for the growth and development of Kalerpa. Site must be protected from the destructive effects of wind and waves. There must be a buffer zone of mangroves and or coral reef. The substrate must be loamy and muddy. However, very deep, soft mud must be avoided. Avoid sites with acidic soils. Colored pa will not grow long in low pH areas. Area must be near the source of an unpolluted seawater supply. Kaolerpa is consumed fresh, thus, it must be grown in areas free from both domestic and industrial pollution. Question number 14. How many days do a typical turtle egg hatch? A. 55 days B. 60 days C. 75 days and D. 120 days Sea turtles can produce 75 to 200 eggs per female in each spawning season. The correct answer is B, 60 days. There are 7 sea turtle species around the world. Among these species, 5 are found in the Philippines. These, they are the olive ridley, which can produce 100 eggs, the loggerhead, which can produce between 100 to 120 eggs, the leatherback, the largest among the sea turtle species, which can produce 210 eggs. The green turtle, which can produce between 75 to 200 eggs. And the hawksbill turtle, which can produce 130 to 160 eggs. Question number 15. From the field of capture fisheries. In knitting materials, which is the correct order from smallest to biggest? A. Twine. Fiber strand or yarn b fiber twine strand and yarn c twine strand yarn and fiber and d fiber 
yarn, strand, and twine. And the correct answer is D. The smallest is the fiber, a thread or a yarn, a strand or ply, twine or rope. Question number 16 from the field of post-harvest fisheries. What do you call a bright reddish purple fermented rice with fish which acquire its color from molds? A. Binoro B. Nampla C. Angka and D. Tripang And the correct answer is C. Angka Angka or Angka is a culture of Bonascus populus aridius which enhances fermentation and can also be called in red borong isda. Binoro or boro is a fermented rice fish mixture of which the fish or shrimp are being mixed with salt and rice. So they can be red borong isda and white borong isda. The red borong isda have angka on it. Nampla is a Thai fish sauce which is equivalent to patis in the Philippines. Tripang is a Malay term for dried sea cucumber which we call balat or balatan in the Philippines. Question number 17 from the field of aquaculture. Acute hepatopancreatic necrosis syndrome or early mortality syndrome is fairly new disease that infects shrimp. It is caused by a bacterial agent Vibrio parahemolyticus which is transmitted orally and colonizes the shrimp's gastrointestinal tract. The disease manifests in pants when there is an increase in pH to black. A. 5.5 to 6.2 B. 6.5 to 7.2 C. 7.5 to 8.2 and D. 8.5 to 8.8 And the correct answer is D, 8.5 to 8.8. Early mortality syndrome or hepatopancreatic acute necrosis syndrome is a fairly new disease that affects shrimp or prawn. It was first seen in China in 2009 before it spread to Vietnam in 2010, Malaysia in northern Borneo in 2011, and Thailand in 2012. In 2013, EMS was reported for the first time outside Asia, showing up in Mexico due to imports of infected live shrimps from Asia. EMS can be characterized by high mortalities, which can reach a 100% mortality in the first 30 days. The clinical signs of EMS include erratic swimming or swimming near the bottom of the pan, reduced growth, Whitening and the reduction in size of the hepatopancreas, soft texture of the exoskeleton, dark spots or streaks on the hepatopancreas, and hardening of hepatopancreas. Question number 18 from the field of aquatic resources and ecology. Sea urchins inhabit a variety of habitats. Which of the following is not a known habitat for sea urchins? A. Mangrove plants. B. Coral reefs C. Seagrass beds and D. Macroalgal mud And the correct answer is A. Mangrove plants Usually, sea urchins does not Sea urchins can be seen in coral reefs Usually, they are biocontrollers of the macroalgae, such as, for example, this one, the long spine sea urchins or the diadema. Sea urchins can also be found in the seagrass beds, and usually they are found in algal mats, so of which they, they fed on macroalgae. But they are not known to inhabit the mangrove areas. Question number 19 from the field of capture fisheries. A doubly reflecting navigating instrument used to measure the angle between any two visible objects. A. Compass B. Sextant C. Quadrant and D. Gyro Compass And the correct answer is B. Sextant 
Sextant is an iconic device used for navigation. Modern navigational sextant is designed to precisely and accurately measure the angle between two points. In modern usage, it is most commonly used to measure the altitude of a celestial object or the angle between a celestial object and the horizon. It is so named sextant because its arc encompasses one sixth of a circle or 60 degrees. However, due to the optical properties of the reflecting system, it measures up to the third of a circle or 120 degrees. Compass points to magnetic norm. Its magnetized needle aligns itself with the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. Whereas, Gyro Compass is non-magnetic. The function based on the fast spinning disk in the rotation of Earth. And for our last question, from the field of post-harvest fisheries, during red tide, which of the following are allowed to be taken? A. Alama B. Shellfish C. Whole fish and D. Seaweed And the correct answer is D. Seaweeds Usually, alamang and shellfish are not allowed to be consumed if they are being caught or extracted from the areas of which red tide toxin are present or passive. The whole fish, provided that they are being washed thoroughly and they are fresh, and their internal organs, including their gills, are being removed, they are safe to eat. Seaweeds usually are allowed to or eaten in areas where there is red tide.